next year I'm going to look back at this video and be like, girl, you done came a long way. That's the goal. That's the goal here. not done a chit chat get ready with me in a very long time i don't think i never really i don't really do chit chat get ready with me i feel like i need some chapstick because my lips is getting very crusty i don't like that i need a teeth cleaning oh my god i look you i look you on my teeth but i'm like girl you don't need it right hi, hi. <laughs> okay anyway um <laughs> I'm nervous. I don't know why I'm nervous. I, mm, I'm nervous. For those who do not know me, I am Najee. Welcome. Hit that subscribe button so you can become a part of the Kindred family. And for those who do know me, what's up? First and foremost, if you don't follow me on Instagram, ladies, I'm gonna need for you to follow me on Instagram because there's been a switch in my engagement I don't like that. So recently, within the past month, there's been a total 180 in my um, engagement regarding male and female ratio. And right now, we're at a majority male ratio, and I've never seen that in my entire time on social media. So I'm gonna need you guys' help, and I'm gonna need for you to engage. Um, Hit the bell, there's like a bell notification as well on Instagram. So like whenever I post something, you guys will get notified when I post it and you guys can like engage, like, comment, share, all of that good stuff. Like I really need that right now because um that is not my target audience, okay? I need I need the girlies on my side. I need all of you ladies on my side because if I'm gonna be promoting products and stuff, men don't wanna see that. Men just wanna see, men just wanna see. Men just want to see you. If you're not following me on Instagram, I'm going to need for you to please, pretty please, go check out my Instagram, follow me, and hit that bell um, thing too, because I think I'm lucky shadow band. Like, I used to get at least like a couple thousand likes on a photo and stuff, and recently, it ain't been given, okay? It ain't been given recently, so I feel like I'm shadow banned, and I don't, I don't like that. I don't deserve that. But anyways, um, <laughs> I'm about to do my brows. So I, like I said, I haven't really been doing makeup like that. So I think I'm kind of stuck in my old ways of doing makeup, like my 2017, 2018, you know, wave that I was doing. Like my makeup, I feel like I'd be doing makeup like that. <laughs> and makeup has like definitely changed over the years. Like. I think what's trending right now is more of these natural looks, natural brows, not too much foundation, a little bit of highlight, you know, blush, la natural lashes, like everything is just giving natural these days. So I kind of want to try that. I don't know, because I say I want to try that for today, but then I might end up doing something dramatic i don't know we'll see look i'm just gonna let my spirit take the wheel i don't know but anyways yeah so uh, okay i did promise that i was gonna be more consistent this year we're already at the end of february and i feel like i haven't been as consistent as i should be i started taking my youtube journey seriously Right before I moved to New York, I had started like a moving to New York journey um, from Virginia. I'm originally born and raised in Virginia. And when I had got out of service, I'm gonna wait for that to dry because every time I try to fill them in, they, they move. 
So I'm gonna wait for that to dry. But yeah, after I had got out of service, I finished my five year contract with the United States Navy. I was like, I'm moving to New York and I'm gonna go to cosmetology school and I'm gonna be like, that hairdresser right <laughs> so yeah that's what i did like i so i started that journey i moved to new york and then i was in new york from 2019 to 2021 and uh, um the pandemic hit as we all know in 2020 so i'm gonna go ahead and prime my face with the prep and prime by mac i have not been makeup shopping in a very long time all of the makeup that I have been using, I've, I've done had for a little a little bit of time. I might just re-up on like my foundation and concealer if I run out. But outside of that, I've been rocking with the same makeup. Like eyeshadow palettes, um, setting powders, brow, liners, all of that good stuff. Brushes. Like I've been rocking with the same stuff for like the past two to three years actually. So bear with me. If this, if I, if I end up like liking this, if this turns out well, I'm gonna obviously invest more in my um, makeup products so that way I can do like reviews and stuff for you guys. But yeah, for right now we're gonna be using our or my OG type of stuff. But yeah, so I was using the Purple Pine by Mac. Love it. I feel like for the sake of the video, because I'm gonna be talking, I might as well just do the whole shebang. I feel like I'm gonna do the whole shebang. Yeah, let's just do the whole shebang. So as we all know, the pandemic hit, everything shut down. Like I had just graduated from school. I was working in a salon in Soho and then everything just shut down and it kind of like messed up my mojo. Like I was in a mojo, like I was working two jobs. I was just finished school. Like I was doing the damn thing and everything just shut down and the world we all just took like a big hit we literally just took like a big hit with life so we had to all adjust to that so that was very interesting um i was literally in new york by myself my friend at the time she had moved to atlanta and i was like dang like i'm literally like out here in new york <laughs> so, my man not here my friend out here, like, it was like a struggle. I'm using the Anastasia Brow Wiz. Uh, I typically would use the brow dip, but uh, I feel like that, I kind of want to try a more natural brow this time. So I, I hear the girlies be using the good pencil to fill their brows in. So that's what I'm going to use today. I don't know. Like, I just started to really just lock in and get into my bag like i started to try to post on youtube more i was getting more clients because i was getting more like at home clients because obviously everyone still needs their hair done and everything was closed in new york at the time so i was doing that i was saving more i was paying off debt like i had increased my credit score like at the time because when i moved to new york i had like took out loans and like i had like used like the credit cards and stuff like that to kind of like get myself adjusted to new york so yeah like my credit score i had kind of like ruined my credit score a little bit so when the pan um during the pandemic you know with me working not being able to go nowhere um and we were all getting like um what do you call it we were all getting like unemployment at the time because everyone we, we lost our jobs like i was able to save well i wasn't necessarily able to save like that much but i was able to pay off a debt like i raised my credit score up like damn near 200 points like before i decided to move to atlanta so like i was really just like focused and in my bag at the time and yeah things were going good towards the um things were going good for the beginning of 2021 like things were going good like and i i literally decided to move to atlanta maybe January for March of 2021 like it was very last minute because if if you if anybody knows me everyone knows that I love New York like New York was like my dream place to live my family's originally from New York and every time I went back to New York it just felt like home to me 
And yeah, I absolutely love New York. And I think about, I be thinking about, and I be contemplating whether or not I want to move back. Um, damn near every single day. So, <laughs> yeah, but I'm here now, for right now. But um, yeah, so I had decided to move to New York. I mean, I had decided to move to Atlanta um, very last minute because my lease was up in New York. Um, June of 2021. So yeah, I was like, you know what? Screw it. Like I was talking to my friend and she was like, you should move down here. Cause I was always coming down here to visit. And it was like the only place open at the time for, for real. So she's like, you should move. Da -da 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 -da. So I'm like, ah, you know what? Like, you know, the hair, like leaves and legs. Like in New York, a lot of people wear braids, natural hair, stuff like that. And um, I just thought, I think, which I think is kind of like ass backwards. I don't know, I guess it just depends on how you market yourself. But I just thought, like I had this vision, like, oh, I'm gonna move to Atlanta and then like my wigs and my, my hair extensions and stuff like that is gonna pop off, like, da. But fell in and realized that like, okay, everyone does this shit down here. So like, you have to really stand out. You really have to put in the time and effort to stand out and like, yeah, like make that, S work. I feel like I probably would have had an easier job being in New York, being that like I would have been like one of the only few. If that makes sense. Like I don't know really how to explain it, but um, yeah. So yeah, you know, I, okay. I decided to move to Atlanta right before, like right before, literally right before I committed to moving to Atlanta. I had like for. For months, I was looking for a, like, doctor, okay? I was like, look, I done paid off my debt. I've raised my credit score. I deserve to treat myself. I deserve to treat myself. I was like, I'm going to get my body done. I was like, I'm going to get my body done. So, um, yeah, so I had that going. I just had a lot going on in the beginning of 2021. Like, I had, like, found a doctor. I had, like, paid for my deposit. And then, you know, talking to my friend, she's like, oh, you should move. So I'm like, I don't know. And then, like, it was just, like, <laughs> I had a lot going on. Uh, like, my surgery ended up having to get pushed back a few times. Like, it was just a lot going on at the time. But I was just... I felt like I was just at my highest. Like, I felt like I had endless of opportunities in my hand that I could literally just do anything. I just had to make a decision. So, y'all can say I made a decision to proceed with, like, surgery. I made a decision to proceed with moving. Mind you, I had my surgery. I had my surgery right after my birthday in June of 2021. And I moved from New York. The beginning of july like the first of july of 2021 so mind you i'm still in recovery while i'm like packing and like moving my stuff and all that good like all of that stuff so like it was a lot and then i was like secretly seeing my ex at the time like i didn't want my friends and family to know because of like all the stuff that like was going on or whatever so i was like secretly seeing him and well not necessarily secretly i just didn't want i just didn't tell nobody so i guess that's like secretly i don't know but um but they knew they knew because like who else would i be who else who else helped me move like they knew oh actually my mom didn't know like actually my parents didn't know because i had to like drive my friends they didn't know but my parents they knew because um i had to drive Oh, we we stayed. Did we stay? Yeah, we stayed in Virginia Beach. So we drove from New York, and then we stayed in Virginia Beach, and then from Virginia Beach we drove to Atlanta with a U-Haul. Cause I couldn't drive, cause I just got like I'm still recovering, and I couldn't sit on my behind, especially not that long. So, um, yeah, and then. I ended up like moving in with my friend or whatever and that was cool but as soon as I like as soon as I moved down here I got sick oh my god I got so sick I was sick as a dog like it was COVID I <laughs> I didn't want to admit it was COVID but 
it was COVID. I was in the house, like restricted in this little tiny space, like at my friend's place and just like, just going through it. Like couldn't taste, couldn't smell, nothing baby. Like I was sick for an entire month. I was down, it was bad. Like COVID got me bad when I first moved here for damn near an entire month. I'm using Soft Okra Pink Pot by MAC to base my eyelids cause I'm gonna do eyeshadow. See, you see, I just, I'm gonna go ahead and end up doing eyeshadow. But anyways, so yeah, like I was down bad. <laughs> I was down bad. So mind you, the plan was to come down here, stay with her for about like a month, look for an apartment, you know, scope the area out, see exactly where I wanna stay, you know, and then you know move into my place and start my new journey right but no like i said covid had me all the way effed up like covid had me feeling like a girl was about to die like oh my god and then not being able to smell and taste that just uh, it just really set the tone for I was like, is this what Atlanta has to offer me? Is this what Atlanta has to offer me? Like, what? Like, are you for real? Like, are you fucking for real? Like, that's how I vote. So, anyway, so like a month went by. Um, I started to kind of like get out of, like re recover from COVID. Like, mind you, I was still sick. And I still have like symptoms, like, like the after symptoms of like you know not being able to smell taste being congested stuff like that but um at that time i wasn't like uh COVID wasn't like being detected like on me or whatever but a girl was so sick so um something ended up happening jesus fucking christ something ended up um happening which was like a build up of like i think it was just the honestly it was like a build up of things that happened that just happened um and it just is what it is and then i ended up um finally moving into my place like i found the apartment like i literally just went apartment hunting for one day i was like i'm like over it and i i don't even think i was like feeling i wasn't even feeling my best then like no i just knew that i had to like get my own space because i was like yeah, it's time, like, it's time, yeah, I can't, mm -mm. I don't care how sick you are, Najee, get the fuck up, go find your place, because you need your own space, like, yeah, it was, I had a lot going on, like, I had, you know, me recovering, you know, me being kind of uncomfortable in a small space, um, me arguing every day with my ex, oh my god, it was so embarrassing, and you know, like, being at, like, a friend's house, and then, like, they hear you like arguing and stuff like that. I'm pretty sure that could get like stressful to them too. Um, I'm using the Morphe palette, the Jaclyn Hill Morphe palette. I had this palette for a very long time, as you can probably tell. You can't even like, yeah. Hmm. But this is like my go-to palette because it has like all the natural colors, and it's just yeah, it's definitely my go-to palette. And then all the brushes that I'm going to be using today are by Morphe. But yeah, so then like arguing with him, you know, um, being, being confined to a small space, having to deal with like someone else's like personality and things of that nature on an everyday basis. It was just like, mm -mm, it was just too much. And I ended up like reaching like my breaking point at one specific time. And it just unfortunately is what it is and um yeah so i ended up finding this apartment moving in because i absolutely loved it like i literally viewed only three apartments in one day i was like you know what it's i, I have to find me a place and this is the last and third apartment on the list and when i saw it, i was like this is it high ceilings top floor like this is it it didn't have a balcony but i was like this is it like i'm just gonna move here and it's like right down the street like it's like in the area it's in the bucket area you know this is this is a vibe like it's cool like it's just it's the first place you know that i'm moving to in Atlanta. you know i didn't really expect myself to be here for more than a year but we'll get into that later but um yeah so Ended up moving into my apartment, and then, uh, like, mind you, me and my, me and my ex, we were like, oh, it was just like, oh, it, uh, it just makes me sick thinking about it. Cause like, Najee, you really like 
allowed yourself like you really put yourself like you really put like you have no re like you're a pretty girl you're a smart girl you really had no reason to like make yourself suffer the way that you were suffering mentally emotionally physically like so it's like very um frustrating and disheartening thinking about it but we live and we learn Living like, I just know that I would never, ever, 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 ever put myself in a situation like that ever again. But yeah, so like it was just a mess. But um, once I moved into my apartment, like me and my ex, we had like talked and like we were just really gonna try to like make things work and have a fresh start and things of that nature. And um, you guys already know how that went. Like the first day that he even came down here to visit me. Um, and to see, you know, the place, it was just a mess. It was like horrific. It was like horrible, like just horrible. And so yeah, that, that happened. Life like really smacked me in my face then. And mind you, I've only been in Atlanta, July, August, two months. I was in, so much happened in the first two months that I moved here. I feel like it really just set the tone of like how Atlanta was gonna be for me from here on out. Like, imagine, just imagine. Ima just imagine, I don't know, you're probably like, imagine what? Just imagine living in your dream city, having your, you know, starting your, starting off your career, you know, um, just just imagine living in your dream city, starting, you know, finishing school, starting your dream job, like living in your dream, like living in your dream place for that moment. Like I lived in a really, like my studio, my second apartment, like when things started like really picking up for me, finishing school, I moved into like my um, studio apartment that I like absolutely loved. It was so cute. Like, you know, I had my car, you know, working. I got Nala, you know, everything was just going so well for me. And then as soon as I moved to Atlanta, it was just like, hell on earth for me like literally hell on earth for me mentally physically emotionally spiritually let's not even get into it spiritually it was just like a fucking mess right and yeah so life freaking happens so like now i'm stuck in this apartment not wanting to be here not wanting to be in atlanta dealing with you know, recovery from one, my surgery of my body, and then two, surgery of a, a broken jaw. Like, it was just a lot for me to deal with. Like, I really got depressed. Um, I was depressed. I was like emotionally drained. I was physically drained. I lost a lot of weight. You know, um, and I was still trying to show up. I was still trying to show up for my business. I was still trying to show up for YouTube. I was still trying to show up for friends. I was, I was, I did not intend to cry. <laughs> oh, <laughs> woo, girl, you that night. Ooh, talk to me, baby. <laughs> talk to me. Uh, sometimes this is needed, though. Sometimes this is definitely needed. I don't even know if I'm going to post this. <laughs> but sometimes this is needed to kind of like talk and bit and then go back and edit and just listen to yourself. Yeah, I don't know if I'm gonna post this. <laughs> yeah, if I do, if I do, that's a good thing. <laughs> yeah, if I don't, then I don't know. If I do post this, that's that's a that's a step forward. <laughs> a closer step forward in my goddamn healing journey. Okay, okay. <laughs> Woo. 
<laughs> let's take a break. <laughs> Whew, let's take a break. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm using the, ew, this is not cute. <laughs> I'm using the Jaclyn Hill palette. Let me um rebase the corner of my eyes to fix that. Hopefully I didn't mess that up. And then for my inner corner of my eyes, I am using the She Happens and Just Barely shades, the two lightest shades in the palette. This is literally like my go-to glam look. This is like my go-to glam look. Mind you, school, like I still had school, but it was just a lot. I still had school to attend, like, so yeah, it was just a lot. And then I had to deal with like, you know, family um, constantly reminding me like, oh, you have to do this, you need to do this, i.e. like get a divorce, and do all this stuff. Like, I just did not want to be bothered. Like, I did not want to be bothered with none of this stuff. Like, I felt like, I was already kind of like going through stuff alone because no one really understood where I was at mentally. No one really understood where I was at like emotionally and physically. Like no one could feel like like no one could feel or really understand the amount of pain that I was in and still is in. Like it's yeah, it's just so I had to really like put on a face. Like I really had to like put on an unwanted mask because I didn't want my, um, sh like I didn't want everything that I was dealing with and going through to rub off on like my loved ones and the people around me. So even if it looked like I was doing okay or if it looked like, you know, I really wasn't. Like, I, like your girl was like literally going through it. And um, this, I okay, <laughs> this e.l.f. pen liquid liner um, is the bomb.com, like literally the bomb.com. But um, look, I can't, I can't talk and do this at the same time. It's just easy for me to control and to create that wing look with their applicator. Like, it's just the bomb down on. I really messed up the inner corner of my eyes and I don't know how I'm gonna fix it. But, yeah, yeah, it was just a lot. So like, I wasn't giving my all, like, I felt like I wasn't giving my all to school. So I was kind of like fucking up with that. And then um, I didn't and couldn't really give my all to my business at the time. So I was kind of like procrastinating and being slow with that. I, I wasn't really using my judgment um, regarding I wasn't really using my best judgment regarding like the people that was like in my life at the time. So like, yeah, it was just, I don't know, it was just a lot, right? It was just a lot. And yeah, so fast forward. You know, we're in 2022, right? Oh, so the foundation that I'm gonna be using is by MAC. I love using like MAC face products, concealer, foundation, primer, all of that. So this is the Studio Fix um, Fluid Foundation in um, NC50. But yeah, fast forward to 2021, I mean 2022, which was last year, that was like, okay like i'm able to eat 
now even though it was you know hard and i still like have like restrictions like i can't open my mouth all the way you know that nature but i was able to eat um so i started to eat more i was putting on you know i put on put back on some weight plus some <laughs> you know and then i started like going out a lot when it got warm outside like from from like march i would say from like march april all the way up until i would say right before my uncle passed i was going out a lot so all the way up to like november i was going out a lot like a lot a lot like a lot like too much like a lot drinking drinking eating like yeah like you remember so i told you guys like i lost a lot of weight i gained that weight plus some back so yeah i'm not mad about it though but it's just i guess it's how i gained it it's like mm. yes yeah, so i was eating a lot i was drinking a lot so mind you when you're drinking you know that messes up your like routine and your days of the following day so for me i don't know i i'm not <laughs> i'm not i i'm like i'm still very much young don't get me wrong i'm still very much young i'm still like in my 20s you know it but baby the way i was able to go out or like hang out and like drink and like be out to like two, three o'clock in the morning, get back up at five to be to work by six or whatever. I can't do that no more. Like, <laughs> I literally cannot do that. If I'm hanging out drinking, I'm down bad for the next day. Like, I'm down bad. Like, and I'm not getting no work done. So, you know, doing that, I'm down bad not getting no work done the following day or the following evening. I'm feeling A-OK. -okay, and instead of getting work done, I'm back outside in these streets. Like, <laughs> it was just, mm-mm. Yeah, so I was using the outside world to kind of like run away from my problems. Like, I stopped handling like my business for the most part. Like, even with like school, like I told y'all, like I stopped going to school, like in person, I'm going to school online now. I mean, yeah, I just was not handling my business. Like as y'all could tell, like I don't really be posting the way I want to post on YouTube. Like ideally, especially when you're trying to go grow, you want to post like two, three times a week, really three times a week. And I have all the time in the world to do that. I just haven't been utilizing my time the way I should be utilizing my time. You know what I'm saying? So that's why it's like, you know, I can't necessarily complain about my slow growth on this platform because I haven't really been putting in all of my effort, like all, all my all into it. Like I, I put my all into it, but I don't be, no, I don't be putting my all into it because like even though even by like the content that i do pr produce you guys can see like i have a lot of potential like i have a lot of potential i'm very gifted you know i just haven't like really been like stepping into i haven't i just haven't stepped into i just haven't stepped into my full potential yet and i definitely am and the first step is acknowledging that and if i do post this <laughs> acknowledging that in front of thousands of people that's a big thing that's definitely holding yourself accountable like holding yourself accountable like that's how i felt when i started when i posted my um domestic violence um situation like i posted it to hold myself accountable in front of thousands of people so that way i know not sure you can never go back mind you there are days oh my god there are still days where i be thinking like damn like what if that da or I, where I be even thinking sometimes like damn I really miss like those moments like I miss those moments like what ifs you know I be thinking that but I know I know that that could never and would never be so yeah so oh that leads me to like d dating <laughs> even though I should not be dating I don't I don't know I'm not gonna say I shouldn't be dating but I don't know I feel like I shouldn't be dating I really need to be focusing on myself jesus christ i literally need to be focusing solely on 
myself, my business, my brand, um, school, and not these men because dating in Atlanta, let me stop saying dating in Atlanta. I'm just gonna say dating, period, is ass, okay? Ass. So 2022 as well, I like started dating. Obviously, because I'm out more, I'm meeting people, you know, so yeah, I mean, you're bound to like, meet people of the opposite sex that are interested in you and you're going to like date and you know see what shakes oh my god so like <laughs> honestly i haven't been um i haven't necessarily been i could scream i don't know what happened to the rest of that clip so if your camera runs for too long your clips split in half i thought i uploaded everything but when i went to check that clip was not there so i'm very frustrated because i talked about like dating and i had talked like basically gave a synopsis and like a final like <laughs> resolution to the whole story time but i figured that can kind of go into another video so i'm um, sorry about that i don't know what happened to the footage it makes me really really sad and frustrated but we're gonna keep it pushing and then we're gonna have another chit chat obviously so yeah Ooh. Okay, I'm going to be using the um, Urban Decay All-Nighter Setting Spray. Yeah, um, I'm telling you, I'm just using all the stuff that I used to use back in the day. Like, whoo! Talk to me, baby. And lock by locking down, by literally locking in, locking down, like really just zoning in and focusing, I can get, you can get a lot of things done in you can get a lot of things done in a quarter, right? You can get a lot of things done in three months. You can get a lot of things done in two months, okay? So I have a lot of things that I know that I need to get done and that I am gonna get done within these next two months, two, three months. Yeah, two, three months from now, I'm gonna do another, um, what do you call it? Life update. Hmm. Y'all gonna be so proud. So proud. Um, what else do I have to do? My inner corner of my eyes. I have to do the inner corner of my eyes. Mm -hmm. I'm gonna be using the M431 brush by Morphe. And then I'm using the Naked Palette, the um, Half Baked shade in the inner corner of my eyes. But um, yeah, that's that. What else? That I tell you guys about so yeah I'm gonna have the answer to you know what the end what do I want what's my end goal regarding like school what's my end goal regarding um, YouTube what is my end goal regarding my business and what is my end goal regarding my freaking life and even if you know it's okay for things to change um it's okay for like your goals to change it's okay for your goals to change i feel like it's okay for your goals to change if you're changing it to something more challenging it's okay for your goals to change but at least have a goal so that way you know what it is that you're working towards because when you don't have a goal it's like okay what are you doing? What are you working towards? Like, what's happening here? What's happening? Um, I'm going to be using Merit's mascara and my bottom water line. And then I've been really liking the idea of using white eyeliner and my bottom water line to really open up my eyes. I really, I've been like really liking that look. Hopefully this video is not too long. Cause I still have to do my hair. I haven't even touched my hair yet. I feel like I'm getting sick. So I'm definitely gonna be in this house recording. Cause I do not wanna be outside sick. One, getting more sick. Two, getting other people sick. So yeah, I'm really about to be in this house. Pushing out content. You guys are going to love that 
I love that for me. Not being sick, but I love that. I, I love that for me. Me, I love it. I would tell you guys what lashes I'm using if I knew what lashes I were using. I literally don't. I can't. I don't know what lashes I'm using. These are like lashes that I've like already had, and already worn. And because I be like doing my own lash extensions um, a lot lately, I um. I'm able to reserve a lot of my strip lashes. I just put them back in the clear container and I just store them away. And that's what I did for these. So I don't even know what lashes these are, but I'm pretty sure I just got them from the beauty supply store. Oh, and I'm using the eyelash glue, dark, sassy. These are, this is the same glue that I use for my lashes and just. Literally, I'm gonna put some chapstick back on my lips because it's getting crusty and I'm not ready to do my lips yet. I'm gonna do my lips after I do my hair. <clears throat> and now I'm about to get into the white liner. Ooh, the hell? Put that right at the bottom of my waterline, lady. And just for a little bit of glow, I'm using Cover FX Custom Enhancer Drops. I've had these for a very long freaking time. I don't even know if they sell them anymore. But I like it. I like this stuff. Look at that. It's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. It's just so pretty. <laughs> it's just so pretty. Mind you, it's a little hard to blend out. A little hard to blend out being that it's probably coming to its coming to its demise. I don't even we don't be doing this no more. Like the girlies for the girlies right now is like into blush, you know, natural highlight contour, you know, natural brows. I tried to do a natural brow, but it's definitely not given natural brow. Like I don't know what I was thinking. Definitely not good. I'm gonna have to just really do some research and like study and practice new techniques on makeup because today's makeup is not like makeup was when I was heavy into makeup and like doing people's makeup. So yeah, probably lost my touch, but I still think that it's cute. Right? Is it? I don't know. Y'all tell me. Or is it too much? Y'all tell me if the makeup is too much or if it's still a vibe and still giving. Okay, so I had to take a little break. I had to upload the clips that I had just recorded because I had run out of space on both of my uh, SIM cards. So yeah, I did that and I took me a break. I made me a bagel and I was munching on a bagel. So hopefully I don't have any fine lines <laughs> on my face. But um, yeah okay i look decent you know what i'm saying now i'm about to do my hair i'm about to get into my hair so mind you this wig is by me obviously <clears throat> and not obviously because i always doing hair reviews and stuff too but that's because her girl gotta get her coin okay but um yeah this specific wig is by got crumbs all over my face jesus yeah okay so yeah, this specific wig is by me. This is one of my wigs. And I've had this wig for, I'd say like a few months now. Six months actually. Oh shit, it's been about six months. <laughs> and I'm literally making this wig stretch. Like the hair started off. Shh, please. So I recently um, cut like a little baby fringe and I've been like liking that look. 
so i think i'm going to go ahead because i have to do a try on haul tonight as well and i feel like it would be so much easier for me to do the haul with my hair being up i think so i think i'm going to go ahead and recreate that look that you guys seen in my last vlog of like the fringe so let me part out the hair it's a wrap for you, baby. This song is in my head. Yeah, this is a 13 by 4 HD lace, and it's definitely holding on by a thread because I literally wear my wigs. I don't take them off. I wear them all the time. I don't take them off. So, yeah, it's definitely holding on to the thread. I only take them off when it's time to revamp them. Oh, it's so bright. Yeah, I only take them off when it's time to revamp them. So the wig will definitely, the lace will definitely last so much longer if um, I was the type to take them off, put them back on. Take them off, put them back on. Which one do I want to take? Which one's tighter? Oh, the bigger one is actually tighter. So I'm going to use the big scrunchie. And I'm just going to take my hands and I'm just going to lightly pull the hair all the way up. Literally just going to lightly pull the hair all the way up. I'm not going to make it tight because I want it to be like this loose, messy, bun situation this is like the easiest like when i don't play in my hair i literally just do this and it's literally so easy so easy just tie it like that not too tight so that way i don't tie it too tight so that way i'm able to pull the back of my neck down and then you could put curls in it if you want, but I'm not I'm going to do that. I'm literally just going to twist it into a bun. And then I'm going to take these long um, hairpins. I like to use the long ones because I'm then able to pull the bun apart to make it bigger. Um, yeah, I don't want it too big though, I think. Perfectly fine. Let me put one here so I can stand up a little bit. Just a little bit. Yeah. And then because it's not too tight, I'm able to pull it down in the back to cover the back of my neck. And I'm going to be using for my makeup, I'm going to be using this Merit uh, concealer stick in amber. It's like a perfect match for my fake scalp illusion. I also like to use this on my um, like actual under lace as well. But yeah, I'm just doing this to define my part. It definitely makes a difference. Like. I used to not do this. I literally used to skip this step, even with doing installs. And doing this makes a difference. Like, look at that. Like, just look, it just looks so darn natural, okay? Like, it just looks so natural. This is literally therapy for me because I was not feeling good today. Obviously, I was uh, kind of sick as well, feeling under the weather, but now I feel so much better. And I'm just going to curl it. Very darn simple. Very darn simple. Place that right behind my ear. Take the little pieces that I have pulled out in the back as well. I'm going to curl them. Effortless updo, okay? With the wig. A frontal wig at that. Not a 360 wig. Not tape ends. 
but just a good old traditional frontal wig. That's it. Now I'm just gonna take my bang and I'm actually going to put a little oomph into it. Just a little bit. We like that. We like that, okay? It's just so cute. I think I might need to cut it a little bit. Hold on. It's been like tucked under the edge wrap for so long that it's like wanting to flow this way. But I honestly don't mind it. Yeah, I honestly don't mind it flowing like an actual curtain. Like look, it's flowing like an actual curtain. I think that that is so cute. And I'm also gonna take my flat iron, this one, I mean my curling iron, and I'm gonna curl actually towards my face. Normally in the front of my face, I will curl away, but for this look, I'm gonna curl towards my face. This is so cute and flirty and like girly, such a vibe. And then I'm going to take my bang, and I'm going to curl the bang. So easy. The first time I did this look, I did it with my faux highlight um, bang. Mind you, this is the same wig. I just took the um, highlights out because it was faux highlights. I think I did it two vlogs ago. I want to say it was two vlogs ago when I did that. What was it, my last vlog? Oh, no, I think it was my last vlog. Look. Been that darn long ago that it feels like it's two vlogs ago when it was really just a while ago. So the cube, let that cool down. <laughs> it's a wrap for you, baby. Mm, it's gone, it's gone, it's gone. <laughs> <laughs> While that cools down, we can get into the lips, okay? Let's get into the look. I've been loving the dark lip liner look. Like that late 90s, early 2000s look. Yeah, that's like such a vibe to me. So I'm gonna wipe my chapstick off, right? And then I'm gonna use this black liner. And I'm literally just about to line the top of my lip like that <laughs> and then the bottom like this like so i don't overline my lips because i just don't know how to do that and my lips aren't like as full as i would like them they're very like just regular so i just leave it as is and then this needs to be sharpened I don't feel like getting up right now. I use the, um, so the liner that I was using was the NYX um, Professional Makeup Liner. It's not a lip liner, I think it's actually just an eyeliner. Yeah, it's just an eyeliner, but I don't have a black lip liner. And then I'm using my lip liner by MAC in Chestnut. And I'm just gonna actually go ahead and go over the black and finish lining my lips. my morphe lip gloss i have like a bunch of these i got these and it came in like a pack of like 10 or 20 i can't remember but i have a bunch of these but in different like shades and this one specifically is 
um, Alchemy. It's like a gold liquid, like a light gold liquid lip gloss. Oh, well, metallic, because it has like hints of pink and uh, purple. And I just use that. I think that's so cute. Um, I could leave it like that, but I'm gonna go ahead and I'm so backwards. I like to use the lip gloss first and then the chaps, the lip gloss and then the lipstick. And then I just go over it with, oh, this is MAC in Yash, the shade Yash. And I just go over that lip gloss. Like, oh, it just, it helps me blend. It just looks so good. Like, look at that. Mm -hmm. I'm feeling so cute. I'm feeling like this is like how if Nia Long was born in 2002, this is how she would like look right now. But not me saying 2002 when I was born in 1995. Ah! I want to put more emphasis in the white liner because it's like not like wanting to pop. It's like really not wanting to pop today. It's like blending in with the black mascara. But now that the mascara is dry, hopefully it'll pop now. Yep, I had to wait for the mascara to dry. Oh my God, I am a cutie patootie. Even with my darn freaking face. I'm still a little cutie patootie. A little cutie patootie, okay? But I would obviously feel so much better if I can get my face back to normal. Yes, okay, come through with the come through. Look, it took a lot for me to make this video, okay? And it's obviously not gonna be perfect, but I'm not here to be perfect. I'm literally just here to be myself and just like, learn and grow from myself and my life so yeah next year i'm gonna look back at this video and be like girl you done came a long way that's the goal that's the goal here i look so cute mm. Mm. so yeah that just wraps up our chit chat get ready with me i hope you guys enjoyed it even with our minor hiccups <laughs> but um yeah thank you guys for watching this hour long video um if you guys like to give it a thumbs up if you're not subscribed go ahead and hit that subscribe button down below and i will see my kindreds in the next video bye <laughs>